Good morning, everyone. The question I get asked so often is, Venerable Nick, where do you stay? And the answer is in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The place that I stay at, it's called the Bape Meditation Retreat. It's a center that it's about an hour and a half away from Chiang Mai Airport. This is northern part of Thailand. So hidden in the forest here, for us, it is our home. It is a oasis that I've been staying here for the past couple years. But this space is for both Buddhist monks, where we come here and we train ourselves, and also a retreat center for lay people who can join and they come from all around the world just to experience this beautiful nature to have an opportunity to sit in meditation to live alongside and to train and to learn from the buddhist monks so for anyone who has ever been here before we hope you had a good time for those one day who want to come and visit you are welcome and for those who may not ever come here or get a chance to come here, this is why I wanted to make this video. So then you can see where do we actually live. And I understand out there for many people, the outside world for you may be so noisy and may be so chaotic, but I wanted to show you the space that we reside at just so then we can one spend more time together and the second part is as you're watching i want to take you on a tour to see the different areas that we have to meditate and to be with oneself but as you're watching just give you yourself this opportunity to slow down Treat it as you're here with me and I'm walking you on this tour, showing you the different sights and sounds and let everything go. Slow down and come back to this present moment. But with that, let me take you on this tour and I hope you enjoy. So welcome. Welcome to the Bape Meditation Retreat in beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand. Bape is a spiritual community that houses both Buddhist monks and lay participants. The unique natural infrastructure of Bape serves as a meditation oasis for both Thai and international people from all around the world. Lushly forested surroundings welcome all who seek to reconnect with nature and slow down the mind. The registration area is nestled within the quaint local village at the foot of the hill that serves as the entrance to the retreat grounds. As you start exploring the retreat center, you are greeted by a diverse range of meditation halls and structures where you can rest and find inner peace. One 
such place is the rice fields. Here you will find several huts with multiple rooms where retreat participants can stay. In a retreat setting, males and females will have separate accommodations in order to reduce distractions and give space to be with oneself. One place you must visit while you're here is Nermu Cafe. Nermu, which means a very delicious smell in a local hill tribe language, is a locally owned small mom and pop shop at the base of the hill leading up to the rest of the retreat. This homey and aesthetically designed space is a favorite for many international guests who stay at the retreat. P. A. and his wife, P. B. O. work together to run this friendly business. P. A. spends his time growing, harvesting, drying, roasting, bagging, and of course, brewing the coffee beans sourced from their local farm, while P. B. O. mans the counter and makes some beautiful, refreshing and delicious beverages. So take a moment to slow down, drink in the fresh, crisp air while you sip a tasty drink. Enjoy the aroma and atmosphere of freshly ground coffee. Let go of any of your worries and allow the environment to simply slow you down. There is no rush. There is no need to be anywhere, but just here in this moment. Now we take you to Center Hall where we do morning and evening chanting along with meditation.
The stained wood with large open windows allow the hall to flood with natural light and allow you to connect with nature around you. chorus of birds singing and insects chirping creates a natural symphony that soothes the mind as you meditate. This accommodation is called Ratanyu House, which is situated conveniently between Center Hall and the canteen, and has several bedrooms along with showers right next door. Due to its convenience, this accommodation is a great fit for older guests who may have difficulty walking long distances. The open patio allows you to enjoy the sights and drink in the slow life. As we move along, we see Forest Hall. Forest Hall is a spacious area that is fully open, and as the name implies, it's surrounded by thick forests. This area is quite isolated and is therefore one of the quietest places on the property. This makes it a very suitable space for our new international monks to train themselves in a more peaceful and secluded environment. To assist their practice, this area is only reserved for monks, which allows them to fully and properly train and live their monastic life more peacefully. Each monk has his own hut that is constructed in a very simple and minimal fashion. Under Forest Hall, there is a space for the monks to study, read the Dhamma, interact with their brother monks, and practice their chanting. And this is my personal hut, or kuti, just a little space which I can call home. Not far up the hill from Forest Hall, you'll see a library which is open for all retreat participants. This library is small, but very homey and unique in its design. This relatively new structure has a beautiful 270 degree view along with clear roof tiles which creates a feeling of openness and spacious along with allowing for an abundance of natural light. This is a fan favorite where people enjoy reading, journaling, meditating, or just relaxing on the couch within.
This library contains a wide array of books on many different subjects and in multiple languages. On top of the library is a small meditation room called Lung Bu Hall, who is our great master that taught us that stillness is the key to success. As we move further along, we will see Moon Hall. Moon Hall is another meditation area that is fully open. Many of our retreat participants love this space as it feels very simple and peaceful. Each morning at 10 a.m., our teaching monk guides a meditation session and Dhamma talk for approximately an hour and a half. Today, we have the privilege of sitting and learning from Monk P. Michael, an international monk originally from Atlanta, Georgia. This space gives the guests an opportunity to share their experience and ask questions in an intimate setting. Regardless of one's background and meditation experience, we can all connect and tune with one another. Next on our list, we have Sunset Hall. Sunset Hall is currently the highest meditation hall we have on site. The hall is situated on top of the mountain overlooking the forest. Today we have a special session with the local university students led by Long Pi Som Wang. What's unique about Sunset Hall, it's its simple design. The tree trunks and bamboo aesthetics perfectly capture the philosophy of Bape. Less is more. Small is beautiful. And simple is best.
Another beautiful attraction at the Bape Meditation Retreat is the Organic Garden. Built by the combined efforts of our staff and other visitors to the retreat, this garden is conveniently situated right next to the kitchen and dining hall. This allows fresh herbs and vegetables to easily make it from farm to table all year round. The family that makes up our kitchen team are not only phenomenal cooks, they're some of the kindest, most down-to-earth people you will ever meet. Even with the minimal amount of English that they speak, the love and warmth with which they cook and treat those around them can easily be understood by all. They work tirelessly day in and day out to ensure that everyone at Bape has two delicious home-cooked meals every day. Whether we have 20 retreat participants or all the way up to 50 or 60, this family will make sure everyone has a tasty meal, which is essential for a happy mood and a very supportive, good meditation. Let's take a look at what's on the menu today. Pinuan starts us off with a traditional Thai egg with herb dish. This dish is typically served over hot steaming rice. For the entree, we have deep fried tofu, which tastes delicious with a side of Thai sweet sauce. Here, 
we have stir fry noodles with soy sauce and vegetables. Dessert, the team has prepared delicious deep fried bananas with the perfect amount of crunch and sweetness. Now that we've seen what the retreat goers at Pape typically eat, let's look at where they eat. Like most other structures at Pape, the dining hall is very open and fully immersed in nature. Where else can you wash your dishes with such a beautiful and open view of a lush forest like this? As lunchtime approaches, we offer the food to the monks. They provide everyone with a blessing and all dig in and enjoy the delicious meal. Now that our bellies are full, let's continue with our tour to the pagoda. This pagoda is still in the process of being completed, but you can already see it's starting to take shape. The local builders use a brick design it's, it's the authentic style known to Chiang Mai. This gives it an ancient and sacred feeling. Once completed, the bottom level will be another place for our guests to practice meditation. Adjacent to the pagoda are large bamboo swings. Periodically, we'll use this space to conduct morning meditation and chanting. 
Each swing seats approximately four people. Here we have Merritt House. Merritt House is another area for our guests to relax. A unique feature of Merritt House is that it has a beautiful tree house with a private area to meditate. Climb to the top, close your eyes, and enjoy this sacred space. If you're not into tree houses, another option for you to meditate is at the river hall. This hall is directly above the river banks. Imagine meditating to the sound of the flowing stream. Allow this environment to naturally soothe and deepen your meditation practice. For those wanting a more intimate setting, let's take you to the main river. With just a few minutes of walking, you'll be transformed into another secluded space. You and your friends can have the option to sit on the rocks, tree stump, or any area which feels most comfortable. Besides sitting meditation, the maze gives you an opportunity to practice mindfulness by raking or simply doing walking meditation. Take this time to slow down and fully feel the sensation of the sand beneath your feet.
As we come to a close, let's sign off with the lantern ceremony. We hope our time together has inspired you to slow down and gently reconnect with yourself. Wherever you are in the world, we wish you all good health, happiness, and purity of mind. Greetings to you all, from our family to yours.